Welcome Builders, Andy is Yoda here. Big shout out to Sebi is Yoda for that intro. This is a smelter, a brand new tutorial on my channel which uses the repeating elements of this video, which you can check out, link in the description if you want to build your own stuff in this style. Otherwise, sit back, relax and enjoy this tutorial which uses the 5x5 building system and includes a blast furnace for the authentic medieval feel. What do you think? This video is sponsored by Gen G, the eSports team, and Toyota Sienna. They're looking for the best Minecraft builders in the United States for a competition which starts 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on March 26th. Today, it's open now and closes April 1st at midnight. The theme of the challenge is let's go places in your dream ride. We want you to build a place that you want to go and the awesome rides are going to take you there. The Minecraft builders will show off their skills and have a chance to win a PlayStation 5 or $100 Amazon gift cards. If you think you've got what it takes, the server is currently now open. You can join it at siennabuilds.minehut.gg and start building. If you're unsure how to join a Minecraft server, follow the links in my YouTube description for more information as well as the rules and you can always follow Gen G, an amazing esports team, on Twitter for more updates. So let's get this built. Now this is using the 5x5 building system, which means every upright, as you can see, upright is three blocks away from the next upright. So this makes it a nice easy grid to build on and a nice way of building because you can expand very easily. So let's start pretty much anywhere, right about here. And um, we're going to mark out, with a gap of three, a little two gappers what i would call it here and then we want a five gapper on the side so five gaps here so let's go through there and one more how many is that one two three four and another one so i would call this a five by two area five by two three gaps if that makes sense let's just complete this oops you are wrong and there and there there and there. So there we go. That is the space that you need. This square here is going to be where the house goes and this is where the yard is going to be for the furnace. So what we're going to also do is obviously just dig this out. So what you want to do is line the sides with cobblestone and that needs to go down two layers and then everything else gets dug out by three blocks down. One, two, three. And then you line the bottom there you go with polished andy is your site of course you would use this block oops so that needs to be done for the whole of this area Okay, next we're going to put in some basement windows and this big tower. The tower just adds vertical interest to our build. It's as simple as that. Uh, it's not really useful for anything apart from maybe getting from the basement up to the kind of the room level as well. It does do that. So um, I like to make the tower 14 blocks high in total. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I'm going to do the corners first. Hope you're all having a really good day. I've made a 2021 playlist of all my tutorials. So if you're kind of a tutorial person, you want to do the latest tutorials, I've made a new playlist link in the description um, for 2021 tutorials. And they're, all, they're pretty much all going to be five by five tutorials. I like to make these little uh, two gappers here and put in spruce fences in my towers. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So all these builds are going into my CMP kingdom. And let me just pause and show you a little bit of the CMP kingdom right here. This is where we've got a smelter's house and a farmhouse and logging and sawmill. And this, um, we've got these, um, what do you call it? Smelter's house? Yeah, that's what I'm building, a smelter's house. We've got that as well. So I'm going to hopefully do tutorials on all the builds we're putting together on our kingdom. And if you want to follow along and see our kingdom, uh, then the, the link is in the, uh, down below to that playlist as well. So you can see what I'm doing here, just very, very simple little spruce slabs there you can see they overlap in the top block okay let's put in a few little windows at the back here and i'm going to use stone bricks like that one two one two so my last few tutorials have all been very very similar designs um 
and it's good to repeat the elements and just rearrange them to make new buildings. I'm going to completely fill in the sides here. I might add in an extra few windows towards the end. It kind of depends on where the roof is going to finish. Okay, uh, basement windows. We're going to have a chimney right here. So there won't be a window there, but there will be a window here. Um, two windows here and a window there uh, as well. Okay, so uh, now we need to uh, kind of fill in the, the rest of the foundations or the basement of our house part of this build. So what we're going to do is just come around here. I'm ignoring where the chimney is going to go just now. I'll fill that in later on. And it's going to be two blocks all the way around, but you've got to leave space for the, the windows like that. So take off that one. Um, take off those two. Where else is there windows? There's windows there. So in other words, you want that to be a gap everywhere there's a window. And then on the outside, we just do that. And it makes this cute little basement window where you can see down like that. And you can put in some glass panes if you want, or iron bars like I'm doing there. Cool. I think it's probably about time we got rid of this. Um, oh, we need to build that up by two blocks as well, don't we? Like that. There we go. And we can come across. Yeah, it's about time we got rid of the blue wool, right? Yeah, we could definitely get rid of the blue wool. Now, what have I done down here? Yeah, I've done a kind of a double door like this and upside down cobblestone stairs just like that. And I guess what we could do is put in doors, but I'll maybe put the doors in a little bit later on. Right, jobs to do. Let's fill in those two blocks there. Let's fill in the side of this tower that I forgot all the way down to there. So we've got a nice little door. Um, might as well actually start to put in some doors at this point. So there we go, a door. We're going to need some ladders up here. Should we do them just now? Maybe put the ladders in later on. Yeah, let's get rid of this cobble here, here, and here. And what we want to do now is bring some nice oak logs across to support our main house part of this build. Like that. Something sneaky I like to do is just add on upside down cobblestone stairs. No actually correct the way up cobblestone stairs and it looks like these are just dug right into the wall oh, doesn't that look good that little bit of extra detail there can just make your build pop when you come inside to explore um yeah double doors right there adorable haha <laughs> and then uh, that's what it looks like so far i guess we'll put in the chimney um this is where i like to have the chimney and that's where I like to have the fire. And I like a working chimney, one that has kind of a gap for the smoke to go all the way up. So I'm going to surround the fire. And I do all my chimneys exactly the same way. Then I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, it's a good way of building because you don't need to think too much. You always do your chimney the same way, always do a tower, always do a basement the same way. Um, I'm really enjoying this kind of building style where it's um, there's not too much thinking needed. That kind of suits me. <laughs> Uh, that sounds bad, doesn't it? So that is my chimney. Um, what I'm going to do is create an extra bit of hearth here and do that, that, and that, just to support the bottom of my chimney there. And then one, two, three, four, to create kind of a fireplace. That gets held up by upside down, support it from the sides, and I just do these chimneys exactly the same each time. And uh, it saves me thinking power, and I love it. So there we go. So our chimney goes all the way from the top to the bottom. What I like to do is sneakily sometimes add a campfire right there and it creates kind of stronger smoke coming up the way. Something else I like to do is just to finish off a chimney like that. So there we go. Hopefully you've got that chimney perfect. Uh, something else to finish off the outside is two blocks and cobblestone stairs on top. And then I like to go one, two, three, four, correct the way up correct the way up upside down upside down it adds just a little bit of detail uh, on your chimney and there we go our chimney is complete so now we're going to add on some oak slabs for our floor there we go oak floor installed then I like to reach for my stripped oak logs we're gonna go one two three one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. These will end up being actually a little bit longer. Um, shall I do that just now? 
I may as well, let's make it five, six, five. So it goes three, five, six, five, three. Uh, same on this side. So it's one, two, whoops, not you. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Oh, by the way, I have, if I go warp schematics, no home schematics maybe you can catch up if you're following along i have got all these builds that i've been putting into the cmp kingdom like the smelters the stonemasons this hunter's house got a tutorial on that tiny house coming up tutorial hopefully on that soon the logger's house i think i've got a tutorial on that pretty sure i can't remember um and what is this <laughs> i can't remember what this is it should be a sign it should be a sign i tell you yeah farmhouse and the barn oh yes of course it's a farmhouse these are all part of my schematic packs and if you're a youtube channel member or one of my patrons you get to download my schematic packs for example desert pack um kind of a rustic medieval pack there are more rustic medieval packs <laughs> this is kind of a fortified pack actually it's a fortified pack and uh and so on yeah if you want to download them um as schematics for java edition then you become a patron or a youtube channel member and you can do this um, okay, so we're going to go also upside down. Like that. Oops, we need one, two, three. We need you in there. Um, we need this the opposite side as well. One, two, three. Yeah, upside down oak stairs just to uh, start off our walls. Now, this one's going to actually be the door, believe it or not. That's actually going to be the door. So that one goes there like that. Now, what I want to do is, as you can see, that's going to be the door. We're going to provide this little walkway here to get up to the door, which I think is, is kind of a really nice feature of this build, the walkway that goes over the sunken working area. Right, we do need to put it in, as you can see, some trap doors. So let me just start this procedure off. So it's one, two, three, four. You want to bring these trap doors up to that level and that level as well in fact we need another one i think do we need three we need three yeah we need three on that side so yeah bit of trapdoor work to be done be right back when that's all complete there we go i've nearly finished just two more to do um so i reckon now we're ready for the roof design so let's switch over to stone key block coming up there and there i'm loving i'm in love with this type of roof i love this type of roof it looks so cool so rounded so a couple of stairs on top of your key block and then one and two. Yeah, let's do the same on the other side. So key block there and there and then stone brick, stone brick, oops. Stone brick stair, stone brick stair and then we're ready for our next stage which is upside down, upside down and then it's two slabs, two slabs, two slabs, two slabs and then slab 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 like that gets that rounded feel to it looks really really cool um one two one two one two one two like that cool huh i love it absolutely love it here i'm going to put in a little dormer window so i'm going to go upside down upside down and just bring it together like that little kind of dormer window is it a dormer window it's just kind of like an extravagant window same over here on this side so if that was too quick for you it's block block like that just normal uh like that would be normal right a normal roof would just carry on like that so you take those three out upside down upside down correct the way up correct the way up stone brick stairs upside down and then two slabs and we're ready, really ready for our oak or whatever kind of um, staircase you want to put on. So we've got stairs to go there. Um, that one's going to have to turn there like that. So it sits eventually like that. Not too bad. It is a small house. It is going to look perfect. There we go. Oh, you can come along. So there we go. Let's try the same thing on the other side. So that goes there <laughs> i've dropped it and that one's going to go there okay now we're into we're going to do this side right nearly forgot 
and there we go so that is all the stairs now it's over to slab land so slabs are going to come along here and here and here and no not up there here and here it is noisy that fire <laughs> and it was two of them i suppose and then here like that uh up top i like to go for stone brick slabs like that and I, I don't mind these poking through i think that looks i think they look fine get a little bit of detail on your roof as if you kind of s you've seen how the whole thing is constructed now we do need to, to work on windows on our dormer areas here so what i'm going to do first of all is go for um spruce trap doors just there then i'm going to head outside and i'm going to go for two oak trap doors there and then jungle trap doors there and i think that looks pretty decent you know i think it looks okay you, you've got some issues here with kind of connected textures and so on but you know just disguise them with something you know it look, looks okay right let's do the same over here um so they're fine and that's that there we go i think it looks okay i think that looks okay um what is next? What should we do next? Hmm. Probably let's do this walkway that runs all the way around and up here. So we need some stairs, we need some slabs, we need some trap doors, and uh, yeah, let's just place place this together. How, where does it start? Starts right here. So, oops, <laughs> stair, 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 stair. It's such a nice feature, overhanging walkway. such a good feature right that's good um so let's go one two three four five six whoa tiny bit of lag there did you see that that was weird there we go and that is it hopefully that wasn't too fast for you i mean it's very simple i'm sure you can work it out and then here we would have our door as well now the inside as you can see very very plain um, you could put in a little place up here to have a little bed level if you wanted. A little place here where you could have your bed and then you would just make some, make a little ladder up. Something like that would probably do us. Let me put that on top. Yeah, you could stick a ladder on, right? So let's grab a ladder. Um, and we've got a few places for this ladder to go actually. So there you go, you could sleep up there, right? You've got your tower here, so you could have your ladder going from your basement all the way up to maybe a bell, or maybe a lamp would look good up there. Let me just stick a lamp right at the very top of the, the tower. And you could put a, a door here as well, keep out the drafts as well. So that's all the interior I'm gonna show you. I will show you our final version of this um, as well. Right, it is, I've been putting off the furnace, haven't I? <laughs> it's definitely time to crack on with the furnace. Let's just put these blocks in here. This is where we're going to form our little uh, staircase. So the staircase can just, can go in here. Let's get rid of, um, time to get rid of our blue wool. Um, this is where our furnace is going to be. So we can dig all that out in preparation. Let's get rid of you and you. Um, and now I used, I think, some wall blocks and some iron bars on the sides here. <laughs> so cobblestone, 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 cobblestone. I'm definitely putting off doing the furnace. It is difficult, you know, this furnace. But we we, uh, we enjoyed making it. We designed it on Twitch. I was live streaming on Twitch. There we go. Uh, what should we do here? Just make something up. Something like that would look okay. Maybe something like that. It is up to you what you do here. I've, I've come up with a different solution over here. I think I just put a full, 
I put a turned stair in and an upside down stair like that. So it's, it's entirely up to you what you do at that corner. Right, definitely time for the furnace. So this is meant to represent a real blast furnace, something that you blast air into and you put in uh, like coke, which is like a form of charcoal and you put iron ore and you put maybe put lime in as well and you get out pure iron at the bottom of it. So um, it's, it's a big thing, you know, blast furnaces. Actually, I haven't got the blast bit done, really. I haven't done the blast bit. Hmm. Uh, the blast bit means you blast in some air. I'm still using the 5x5 five five building system, so that is right on the money, right in between there. This is where we're going to place this. So we're actually going to have uh, bricks there and there, there and there. We're going to take out a couple of back pieces there. And I like to put in some magma blocks um, kind of right there. And it looks like molten iron, hopefully, at the base. Uh, out here, we're going to go one, two, three, four as if the molten iron would flow down this area like that and you can grab some iron iron oops and it looks like it's solidified and cooled by the time it gets to there or you could do a block of iron there if you wanted it is up to you so there we go we're well on our way um, what we should do is put brick all the way around there like that and then we can go, so it's going to go one, two, three at the sides there. Actually, we don't need you and we don't need you in the corners. So one, two, three, one, two, three, like that. And these can get, um, doo -doo -doo -doo. <laughs> I'm just double checking here, guys. Give, give me a second. Yeah, that is there and that is there. Not an easy build. One, two, three, like that. Okay, we're getting there. Um, so that's like that. Yes, we definitely need that one there and that one there and then upside down like that. Here we put w brick walls like that. And then we're going to go one, two, three. So we get that sort of shape. We're going to go um, upside down, upside down, upside down, upside down, I believe. That is our next blocks. And then we're going to go one, two like that and then one two three one two so we're getting there slowly but surely working out how this thing works and looks full bricks in there and there and one on the front and then upside down sneaky block there and there so what we should have is this kind of space here Let's just have a look. So what, what we want to do is go around in kind of a circle with stairs like that. And all the ingredients get dropped in the top of your blast furnace. So yeah, that's looking really, really smart so far. So what we want to do is put on uh, a temporary block like that and just go around with upside down stairs like that. Uh, and there we go. So apart from putting in a few iron bars here and there that is pretty much us complete now you can see over here I put some iron ore put some coal ore and I've made a little train system here to bring all the ingredients pretend and bring them up into uh, the blast furnace and I just put on uh, some hay and a campfire to pump out the smoke like that but let me show you this in situ in situation where we have actually used this in the CMP world the creative multiplayer world and as you can see I'm not going to show you how to do this this is super simple with the the scaffolding isn't it you guys can manage that and you've got some uh, trap doors but what I could show you is how this looks in uh, the CMP world so slash warp CMP now this is actually a sneak preview because this episode hasn't come out yet so if you don't want to you can look away now if you're interested in the CMP creative multiplayer playlist I've made a mirror image of this house and it's got the furnace on this side so we've still got our still got our, our, our basement I've added in some lanterns uh, we've still got our furnace exactly the same as I just built it there we've got some smithing tables some piled up goods some iron blocks obviously that's what you make as a blast furnace kind of person and we've got a little mine as well this will be all in the next the third episode of the cmp we've got a mine there and a big crane and so on bringing up the ore bringing up the ingredients round and up 
and into our blast furnace. Um, I've changed kind of the, the walkway up as well. I've, I've brought the walkway all the way around as well, which is another option to do. The walkway's brought all the way around the chimney. So this is a, a mirror image design. A mirror image might suit your world how, where you're building this uh, as well. And as you can see, there's still plenty of room inside for an upper and lower accommodation level. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. Hopefully, um, if we go back, <coughs> you can see the kind of the, the plain prototype of this and um, I'll be building some more tutorials from the CMP world and I hope you enjoy the whole playlist thank you so much indeed for watching take care for now ciao ciao may the blocks be with you